welcome to Golden Empress Collection. How are you today? Um, I am fine. Thank you for asking. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Uh, if you are new, blessings and hi. Uh, we're going to take a peek at Aquarius for March 2020. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. You know, like think the like is over there and then the subscribe button is over there. So help us, you know, make our channel grow. We appreciate you guys so much for everything that you do. Um, had two cards just kind of fall. Oh, actually three cards fall on my lap. So I'm going to say Aquarius, that's your energy. Okay. With that bottom of the deck, we have goddess of the moon. This is going to be a love. This is going to be a love reading. Um, please know that readings are timeless. We have happy family here. We have deceit and we have caring connections. So I'm going to say off the bat that Aquarius, there is some deceit going on. There is some sort of pain I'm hearing. There is um, a masculine cheating on a feminine. There is a masculine cheating on a feminine. This was a family that you thought had a very strong and firm foundation. Happy family and Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate. This is the family. This is the business. This is the uh, generational. Generational, I'm hearing, is, is big with this. Um, the generational influence within your life. 4 and 10 is a 14, so a 5. I think there may be change getting ready to come with this. We have Queen of Pentacles, Deceit. And then we also have um, Being in Denial. I'm hearing switch these two. Thank you. Okay, so there's a Deceit that happened. 7 and 8 is 15, which is 6. So we have 5 and we have 6. Then we have Queen of Pentacles again here with 14, which is 5. So 565 may mean something to someone. 565, maybe that's someone's phone number. Divine Feminine, you are definitely grounded. Aquarius, this is actually an earth sign energy that you are dealing with. This, I'm feeling that this woman is extremely abundant, though. There's a definite mothering energy here. There is also somebody here who has offspring, because I'm checking out the rabbit here. And we all know that rabbits breed very quickly, and they have multiple offspring. Maybe this is someone's mother. Oh, it's someone's mother I'm hearing. Um, okay, so the deceit within the relationship. Someone being in denial, being just stuck in a situation. This is a mental prison, by the way. You see it's it's outdoors. You're not entrapped and you have no walls. This is a mental imprisonment regarding deceit of some sort, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your other person, okay? Let's take a look at your other person, please. Other person for Aquarius. March, March, 2020. The world. I love this card. Okay, this is Shadow Side, Aquarius. For some reason, Shadow Side had to show up. This is also Shadow Side here. We are dealing with an inner. I keep hearing that today, Shadow Side. This is the moon energy of your person. This is how they're thinking. This is their feeling. This is their emotion. Okay. I have a few. Yeah, we just saw the goddess. The, the Your emotion up here. We saw the goddess of the moon at the bottom of the deck. You truly believe in your family, Aquarius, and what you were trying to establish. Magician in the mirror. Financial constraints. There's also um, sexual energy here, second chakra. But this is not just sexual energy either. This is about taking control of a situation. Do you see how the orange embers that are on this safe door? Yeah. Magician in the mirror. This is of water and of fire. 
This is someone who knows how to blend the two energies perfectly. There's a balance between the two. If you look at the top of his head, he wears the crown of the infinity. Can you see that? He wears two necklaces. Blue eyes, too. He has blue eyes. I never noticed that. Blue eyes are very important. She has hazel eyes. This angel has hazel eyes. Something about the eyes. Otherwise, it wouldn't be standing out. And there's blue eyes here. There's almost a gray pair here. Um, that may mean something as you... you give faces to who I'm talking about here. Okay? Yeah. Door to spirit. Your other person. Oh, so your other person is praying right now. And you are in a position to provide for this other person. I think that, you know, Aquarius, you... There's a ah, what's this deceit? We're gonna figure out what this deceit is. Hold on, I want to get another row down because you guys. I should probably like tape my desk or something so I know where to place the cards so I don't always have to move them each time. I hope you guys don't mind me taking a second to do that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more row. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're definitely going to go back and look at that Eight of Swords, though, because, yeah, Door to Romance is here. We did have that sexual energy earlier, but it not not necessarily a passionate. It was more about how to take care of a situation. Yes. Now, we do have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. That's grounding yourself, the door to romance, the door to love. Oh, angel of balance, tempering the situation out. There are adjacent possibilities here at the bottom um, of the deck. And what I just heard was you two have a different way of thinking. You two have a different way of thinking. And it's not necessarily third party. It's you need to be on the same page. Uh, yeah, financial constraints. So there is some uh, concern here. And I think there's not just concern, there's concern here from me to you, Aquarius, because you may not be seeing the deceit that um, your other person, who may be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, may be, may be trying to get away with. Yeah, magician in the mirror. And they, and again, like I said, trying to get away with, like the wheel is turning in their favor. They're trying to manifest something. They are the magician. What are they manifesting, please? It's supposed to... Oh, yeah. King of Pentacles. Okay. To match this Queen of Pentacles up here. They are They are working towards it. They do want it to be that way. Um, but because there is the Seven of Swords next to this magician here, there is some trickster energy going on. That's why it shows that you're in denial. Door to Spirit. What do we have for door to spirit, please? So door to spirit, he opened the door. See, he opened the door. And he's manifesting. These are positive cards, though, with this magician. Because technically, this is a separate energy and all of its own. There's some sort of de deception regarding finances. But this person is actually asking the universe and destiny to come in and, and work with them regarding finances. Let's see what's actually manifested here. This person is utilizing their tools. Ooh, please be a blessing. I'm hearing too many. They said, don't, don't fret. <gasps> oh, I just got chills. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Who was in control here? What was manifested? That this person has heart, puts in the effort for teamwork, and moves forward passionately. That was manifested here. You're up here, Aquarius, prepared for a relationship. Do you see how she's paying attention to the detail here? 
You're feeling secure in this relationship. The door to romance, they want you to stay balanced. I believe this person is actually going to step up their game. Okay? They are going to manifest um, some form of business, some form of opportunity where you will be able to work together passionately. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this emperor off the bottom of the deck, but please do not forget that this person turned into the emperor. That is their true energy. Now, we need to see... Ooh, we... You guys see that? Emperor, empress. Yeah, okay. I wanted to see if their true energy was that of a player over here. Do you see this? I wanted to know if this was going to be a player who was being deceitful about something. Okay. Emperor, y you two have probably done this for lifetimes you two this this could be this is such a collective energy that you two finally understand where you want to be you know Aquarius you would make this offer for them you care for them but you just for some reason you're not seeing the deceit so we're going to dig into this more and see if this is going to be deceit because this five of swords yeah look there's fighting you know five of swords is also somebody's throwing negative energy too Someone is, is either trapped in their own head or it's just like mind games. But because you're both broken hearted here, I'm going to say that somebody could have been throwing negativity your way. You know, a third party that wanted to win at all costs broke and tried to break you two up. You know, maybe throwing, um, and I'm hearing witchcraft is what I'm hearing. Candle, maybe some candle stuff like, um... I mean, you could do it, it, set it up how you want, but here's the thing. <laughs> when you do stuff like this, all right, we're going to dig into this. We're going to see if this emperor truly wanted his, his empress. Okay, we're going to dig, because they came out together. I mean, you guys saw it, so that's what we want to know. Take a deep breath. Let's, let's finish this journey here. All right, we're going to do some healing. Trauma healing is what we call it, especially with this end of February into March. Jeez Louise. Ooh -wee. My legs are tingling. I get goosebumps and yeah, Aquarius. Okay, we're just going to take them all. Healing energy is here though, okay? Things are going to I'm hearing slow offer. You know what? I'm hearing the song Slow Wine. Slow Wine by Tony, Tony, Tony. Classic cut, right? Take it nice and slow and just chill like a slow wine. Yeah. Okay. Star energy. Here's this uh, King of Swords energy. Truth be told, this is second take. And the King of Swords energy came out earlier with the Seven of Swords. So, definitely prominent. Okay, somebody needs to, ooh, there's five cards here, and there's that, um, there's that again. I'm here to take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Somebody's like anxious right now. There's an anxious feeling coming from all of this. Now, your other person, Aquarius, you, you've got this offer on the table, right? You got this offer on the table. You want to heal a situation. You want to give your love. You want to blend things together. But there's a denial here. This is action. This is someone that's going to be taking action. Healing is the way that you want to go. The healing is also here and represented within this. You want to tell the truth. Okay? Aquarian energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, your own energy is here. Twice. I believe that I'm trying to see if this door is open. The door is open to the heart. You'll see that this is actually like a shiffer robe or a shiffer robe is like a closet. Um, so inside of the closet, kind of like, um, oh, what's the name of that movie? Science fiction, fantasy, it where the, the lion, the witch and the wardrobe. Somebody might like really love that movie. That's what I'm hearing right now. So, Imagine this being your life, 
okay? And as you go to walk through that door, you journey in and you see the key is right there. And it's up to you as to how to heal this in a peaceful and truthful manner, okay? Finding yourself, grounding yourself, and you will find victory. Victory. Do you see that? Victory. Okay? There's going to be a balance out of ego as well. Your other person, if this is your masculine, will come to you and, and I'm just hearing honor you. The angel of balance that is coming in, they are going to offer you a brand new beginning. Okay? Aquarius, there was some deceit here. Now, if it was a third party, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing it if it was a third party, it was around money. You didn't necessarily know everything that was going on. And, you know, the beautiful thing about it is that you actually made an offer to help this person move forward. You know, they somewhat manifested it. But I'm going to tell you now, just in manifesting, they manifested love. They manifested the ability to kind of grow up there a little bit too. Yeah, the door to spirit gave them the opportunity through their own manifestations to be to take passionate action to begin working with you and creating something new to bring in a healing energy. This is this is the positive side of your energy. This is you embracing 33 Master numbers here. This is you embracing your true energy of your highest potential and of your highest quality. Divine, feminine, and masculine. Aquarius, this is gorgeous. They want you to stay grounded. And definitely balanced. You do have an earth sign around you. I could, I do also see a fire sign here. Um... You know, I do want to pull on I want to pull on this Seven of Swords. I want to know what it was that they were being deceitful about. Yeah, and I want to see Okay, so Three of Wands. Three of Wands to me is that's been happening for a long time. That's Three of Wands to me, just so you guys know. Like, um, it's it's, it's actions that have been set in place. Okay, so on the guard regarding secrets, yeah, of actions that they have set in place. Something that they have done. And and they're, the high priestess is not telling. They, it's they're on guard sometimes and they're quiet. This is the other king, though. We have the king, swords, cups, pentacles. What's the other one? Wands. This is wands. One, two, three, four. We have all four kings here. I told you this person was on their way to becoming an emperor for you. You two were both on guard. Mainly this person, though. This person was on guard. And, and trying to be quiet about what they were trying to manifest. But they did it. They did it. They were successful. This is the entrepreneur. Okay. So I, I guess you were questioning. You know, you, you're in the middle of being in deceit and denial. I also want to see the, the deceit that's up here. I want you to see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is something from the past. All right. It, this is an offer. What is this offer? This offer of something from the past. For caring, of love, of reconciliation, of soulmate union. And because they were lying to you and being quiet about what they were doing, you were like all in your mental block. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, here's the Knight of Coins again, and it's up here. So here you two are juggling. And the adjacent possibilities? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... You, you, Aquarius, you were actually thinking that this person was like cheating on you with a third party, but they're not. They are not cheating. Um, they're just working on something that they felt they needed to keep quiet, but it is a money maker. And what and the work that they are putting in, they are actually growing as a person. And they're doing it for you. They're they're doing it 
for pretty much both of you. Um, you both need to just have patience here. Okay, this is slow offers. Take your time. Um, and, and to me, this is somebody, if you were not on the same page at first, you now are. It, you will be on the same page because you're taking a moment to step back and, and look at this offer to say, hey, we can we study this again? Can we study? Listen, you guys, Aquarius, have a true bond and you were waiting on an offer from this person like to come back. You also could have had an offer come back from the past as well. And this puts your other person on the defense. That that could have been something too. Um, let's get you guys some oracle guidance. Actually, I'm hearing you might prefer um, a little bit of Archangel Michael because this is so heavenly. How do we stay in this positive energy? You know, the angel of balance. They want you to balance everything out. That's how they say your your outcome is you will temper the situation. You will see the foundation that has been created. There is a long-term foundation here because you are soulmates. There is a past history here. There is a past mm -hmm. history here. Okay, and give me two seconds here because I think my may need a charge. Hold on, let's see what we got. We don't want to die on each other here. Beautiful. Okay, we are charging. It was beeping. Okay, so, you know, this, this past energy is sitting on top of this deceit, this soulmate energy. I think this was a lesson that you guys needed to learn as well. It was something that you were stuck in. It's a cycle that you were stuck in because also right here, this is, and remember I said generational? I did say generational. So this is something that has happened in a past life. Yeah. Financial constraints and just, it, it, it really, you know what? If you are being triggered by this, Aquarius, if you, just seriously, if you're being triggered by this, don't be. Because it's a past life. You need to focus on here and now. That's it. Focus on here and now. And this person, yes, they have deceived you. Okay? But whatever happened to you in a past life is not happening to you right now. You know what I'm talking about. You dreamt about it. I know you did. I'm, I'm hearing you did. You dreamt about it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we. Oh, we. Oh, we. Oh, we. Like I said, you guys are all sitting here trying to figure out what's going on. You know, is this person cheating? Is this person doing this? Is this person doing this? No. Okay. In the middle of all of this, you two are thinking the diff different things. That's it. And it's saying detach from the situation. All right. So cut through the attachment, cut through the drama that's happening with this he is cutting through and you guys know I don't know if you guys know this or not I keep kyanite I keep kyanite oh this is too many we're not going to take that but we will look at oh it says have a sense of humor sense of humor God is asking you to laugh and be joyous Archangel Michael is saying hey we are here for you we are totally here for you all right one more ready oh my you guys look Archangel Michael cuts cords. Detach from the situation. Ask him for that help. That's the subconscious mind. But what's more important is that God is in charge here. It says, Dear God, please help me to let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. And then they turn and they sit here and say, You're on the right path. You are on the right path. They are calling on Archangel Michael at this time to ground the situation. You see that halo there? You see this halo here? Open and expand your mind. Rest and meditate. This is how you are going to clear your energy. You're going to open up your third eye and you're going to see all of this, okay? Okay. 
It says, thank you for giving me the loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. So right now I want you to picture a movie screen. And on that movie screen, in the middle of your third eye, okay, let me find you. This is you, Aquarius. In the middle of your third eye, put your movie screen up there regarding this relationship. And on that movie screen, I want you to see Archangel Michael motivating you and fulfilling, filling you with courage and confidence. You're going to make healthy life changes. God is the one that's in charge here. The blessing that the other person has asked for and tried to manifest, divine timing. This is that non-for-profit. This is the blessing that has humbled this man. Okay? Door to spirit. Yep, here it is right here, guys. Door to spirit is showing him we are the ones that will manifest. If you stay righteous, if you stay in good energy and, and either give the direction or follow the direction that we are giving to you through others to create something beautiful and move forward successfully. Do you see that? God is in charge. King of Pentacles, you know, your guy, he is all, he is everything. He is encompassing everything. He is earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. May have been, may have been a, a slip up here or there, but again, here and now is what you are looking for. With this energy, here and now, God is in charge. Ancestors, one more message. Oh, two. They gave us two. Bottom of the deck. Truth be told. They are like, you know the truth. Windows are open. We had another window earlier where we looked inside and saw the the heart door to romance both of these windows are open look and they're both is that a cage no that's a window and that's more of a door but whew, I was say, that's a cage that's a trip but anyway the mask have come off so this person's infidelity or any type of lie that they have been telling i think it's more of financial constraints okay they were on guard about it but it has come out truth be told yeah peace God is here he's offering you the olive branch you two need to get back together you need to work together okay talk to each other communicate with each other this may be through text you will have a new beginning do you know that this is an 11 this is a 5 here's your change and here's 11 these elephants follow elephants love each other do you know elephants are the only no I don't see if they're the only ones but they remember each other after death they, they re recognize their their own after death and they recognize you in previous next lives like and I, I swear I'm gonna share the story with you so of course you know I do the kids um, what do you call those field trips I'm done my, my babies are older so <laughs> um, I don't look like it but I'm older the uh, one time we went to the elephants we went to go see we went to the zoo you know our zoo is free and we were there and we we're enjoying ourselves and I was so you know I love elephants I was there and I was just standing there and one of the elephants just looked at me and he just went he was looking dead at me it was she actually her name it was a it was a girl she was looking dead at me and she just looked at me she recognized me and she just I swear she smiled at me I smiled back at her and I waved at her but when you recognize somebody from your previous life you know that who they are and you love them so much. Okay? So again, anything that may have happened in a previous life that has you hemmed up right now, and I hate to say hemmed up, but just triggered and really upset, just know that God has this and you are on the right path. Look, I mean, you found this video to tell you about why you're triggered. So it's okay. You know, truth has been told, mask is coming off. You're divine masculine. I think he's been telling a lie about money, but it's all going to work out. Um, you guys will have a new beginning. I do want you to be careful, though, because that new beginning may come in slow, by the way. The investment that you make, this is key for you. The investment that you make, um, I know you want the happy family. So just remember that 
your Aquarian energy needs to stay in positive light. Don't slip to don't slip to that shadow side. Okay, you had the 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 God, moon goddess energy here. Illuminate yourself. Illuminate your shadow side for yourself, and love in yourself. Love on yourself. Love in yourself. Love within yourself. You know what? Check out my web my web shop on Etsy. <clears throat> <clears throat> pardon me we have self-love body butters that are infused with rose quartz okay so yeah i'm ready you guys let's do this beautiful reading by the way wow i am happy for you peace and elbow grease